Hey guys, it's your boy FTL back again with another video and today guys, I'm a happy person. You're asking, FTL, why are you happy? Well, I can tell you why. It's because I'm reviewing these bad boys. The Magista Obra 2 and the latest Floodlight Pack colorway. Got them from Lovell Soccer. You can do so too if you want to purchase these or any football boots that you are looking at from their website, which I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you do so, you will be able to use the code FTLTV10 to get a 10% discount of your purchase. I'm too excited about these boots. I'm gassed, happy, overwhelmed, joyful about these boots. Let's get straight to it. What I'll do now, first of all, is actually just show you a few close-ups so you can get a real idea of how cool these boots are. As you saw in the close-up shots there, guys, comes in an orange box. Magista Obra in Rio Teal and Vault Obsidian. Those two colours, obviously, Teal being a kind of greenish colour, Vault Obsidian, which essentially is Vault, a yellowish colour. Out of the box, first thing that you get that's included is a string bag, a pretty good-looking string bag. It's Teal in colour, which I've said earlier, is a kind of greenish colour with Magista branding going down um, it in a kind of vault color and a Nike swoosh there um, as well. So really cool, absolutely love it. The strings itself are actually navy, which isn't actually mentioned, but as you can clearly see there, it's a kind of bluish color. I must say, it's a pretty good looking string bag. Absolutely love it and one I'll definitely be looking after. All that's left within the actual box guys itself are the boots, there they are. Let's get them out. So guys, here is your boy FTO with the latest Nike Magista Obra 2 in the latest Floodlight Pack colorway. I'm really excited to know your thoughts on these. Are you a fan of the look, the colors that Nike have used? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me also know why. To start off with, let's take a closer look at the colors Nike have actually used on this boot. Along the upper, as you can see there guys, straight away, it's pretty much that teal color, which I've mentioned before is green. You can see, um, you know, following that heat map design that it does get um, to a kind of lighter shade of green at the center. All the branding on the boot is done in vault. So you've got the Magista branding going down the back of the hill there in vault and the two Nike swooshes on either side, one on the medial side um, being vault and the Nike swoosh on the lateral side also in Vault. Um, you've also got ACC branding um, in Vault. The exposed flying it areas, guys, have a hint of blue. So you can see that, you know, on the dynamic fit color there, there's a hint of blue. Along the lacing system as well, there's a hint of blue. You've obviously got green laces there. And on the back of the hill in the, you know, in the internal hill counter area of the boot, there is also a shade of navy blue. So that's the upper covered, guys. And to be honest, mint absolutely amazing moving on to the sole plate lastly it's green in color as you can see they are they do have clear um studs there with these three bladed studs having a hint of vault at their tips all in all guys i'm a fan of this boot i think you could guess that straight away i think they look absolutely amazing let me know your thoughts in the comments below really interested to know if anyone actually dislikes this and why tech wise guys these boots the nike magista over two have come a long way from the original magista here is the original magista now it's it was a very good boot while it was around you know there is a bit of texturing as you can see there but it's pretty smooth and yeah it it was ideal for its time we've moved on to this the present and the future in one the best place to start guys is probably to take a closer look at the upper it's still a knitted upper so as with you know the original magista obra so it's still made out of flying it and you still do get that nike skin covering nike didn't stop there what they've gone on to do is to add this texturing which i have never seen anything like it before now what they were actually trying to do by you know adding this texture is to bridge the gap between your foot being you know in the boot making contact with the ball and your brain which obviously makes the decisions now 
this heat map, which you can clearly see along the upper, isn't just there for decoration. They've actually, um, you know, with this heat map, located the most sensitive areas of the human foot and then, you know, added this heat map to detail that. And by doing so, they've actually been able to then add the most amount of te texturing or rather a dense amount of texturing in those you know most sensitive areas so that once you do make contact with the ball you do get a real sense of sensitivity and responsiveness through the boot into your brain all complicated stuff yes i know but i hope i explained it pretty well so you know in this light area of the of the um heat map which is the most dense or the most sensitive part the highest point of the texturing is 4.5 millimeters while the lowest point of that texturing is two millimeters so it does vary you know in height um, and depth this texturing i will be doing it uh you know a proper test in these bad boys to see how this texturing holds up on the lining side of things it's absolutely amazing i can't show you because it's inside but you do also get a suede um, liner with a decent amount of padding within the actual boot which you know helps to create a be you know better comfort while your foot is within the actual boot and not just that it feels absolutely snug guys along the upper you do have flywire cables which obviously run from the lacing system into the sole plate once you pull on these laces um it then locks the you know flywire cables in place and that in turn locks in your foot so your foot isn't moving side to side the lacing system is slightly off centered as you can see but what i love about it is that it's a one piece essentially it means that there's no tongue and by doing that it just means that you get a clean you know uninterrupted contact with the ball when you're making a shot or a pass and it just comes off one surface which for me is a win-win situation this being a high-end nike boot you do get acc all condition control which essentially means um, that these boots should perform as well as they do in dry weather in wet weather conditions it's getting darker and wetter here in england and yeah that's going to be pretty helpful um while playing football slightly different to the original magista guys you do get an internal hill counter this time not an external hill counter there's no big difference to be honest um in either having a, an internal hill counter an external one um all it does is that it will lock your hill um area down within the boot and it shouldn't be moving around at all the lining on the inside is more of a suede material so it's not leather and it should be able to actually allow you to get a bit more grip with um, within the actual boot with your socks so your foot isn't moving around and it should be pretty comfortable with it being suede another big difference guys between these the magista obra the original and the magista obra 2 is the dynamic fit color as you can see on these old bad boys um the dynamic fit color is essentially a perfect circle however on these bad boys they've made the dynamic fit color more so to the shape of the human ankle so yeah we could get rid of that once again with that said guys your ankle should be able to feel a bit more snug within these i hope you can see that you can see it bulges out a bit where your ankle um would sit and the two ankle balls would sit very nicely in between that gap there lastly guys you've got the sole plate which is pretty thin i must say it's on the thin side um it's made out of nylon which allows for the toe box area to be really flexible as you can see there and the midfoot section really firm and sturdy which is what you would want in a boot stud pattern is slightly different to what we saw on the original uh, magista obra and it's actually made out of a number of what i would call semi-conical studs because they're not full circles they do have a flat side um meaning that the flat side should actually provide quite a bit of traction and grip when you're about to take off and then the rounded side of the conical studs should allow for good rotation in these boots it's not the most aggressive stud pattern guys but it will definitely do more than a job on a firm ground pitch but that's a roundup guys of you know the magister obra 2 in the latest floodlight pack colorway now what i will do is put them on feet for you guys to see how they look as you know i'm a fan and to be honest i'm scoring these at 10 for their look absolutely amazing obviously it's getting darker wetter you want to stand out these are a pair of boots you definitely want to be taking a look at
So guys, here we are at the on feet of the Magister Obra 2 in the latest Floodlight Pack colorway. I'm a fan of the look of these boots as I've been saying throughout the whole video. The boots are true to size. Um, I'm a 9.5 and I've got them in a 9.5. Um, moving on to the fit and the comfort, they are really comfortable. Honestly, you do feel the benefit of having that suede lining. It feels like a sock on your feet. And also the foam, which I didn't show earlier, of the insole, which is actually removable, is really good because it's got pour on as well as the single layer of foam, which adds to you know ensuring that these boots are really comfortable. If you've got excessive wide feet, I will say that once you tighten up the um, laces, the fly wire does really tighten up the the boot and it probably isn't um you know the right boot to get if you have got excessive wide feet they are retailing at lower soccer for 240 pounds use my discount code ftltv10 to get 10 percent off but what i'll do is just quickly show you guys the sole plate there which you can see um which will provide a lot of traction on a firm ground pitch for sure so guys that was the on feet of these bad boys the nike magista obra 2 in the latest flood light pack colorway now as i said i'm a fan of the color the look you're going to stand out on the pitch with these beauties Mwah! also as i said they're retailing for 240 pounds obviously using the ftl tv 10 code you will be able to get 10 percent off your purchase on lavelle soccer but if you are looking for a lightweight you know comfortable boot here it is look no further the magista Obra 2 will offer that it's really comfortable it's true to size and to be honest guys i think nike got this perfect i think it's the best looking one in the pack let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think about these boots i am really excited to be testing these out to see how the texturing you know works in terms of making contact to the ball shooting passing all that stuff so watch out for the test video thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video give it a like please subscribe if you haven't done so and peace